Hi guys, welcome to ABCL. In this video, we are going to discuss calculation of due date. Now, let's see what is given in example. Now, in this example, date of bill, date of acceptance, period of bill is given and we have to calculate due date. Now, the first question arises that calculation of due date will start from which date? Date of bill or date of acceptance? So, remember my friend, agar question me kuch specify nahi kiya hai, so we will start from date of bill. So, first we will write date of bill which is 1st of April 2017. In this we will add period which is 3 months. So, if we add 3 months, it will become 1st of July 2017. Correct? Is this your final answer? Then the answer is no because as per negotiable instrument act, we have to add 3 grace days also. So, if we add 3 grace days, so final answer will come to 4th of July 2017. And this final due date is called as legal due date. And three grace days se pehle jo due date aata hai, that is called as nominal due date. Okay. Let's see another example. Now, in this also date of bill, date of acceptance period is given and we have to calculate due date. As you already know, ke kuch nahi specify kiya hai, so we will start from date of bill, which is 27th of November 2016. In this, we will add period, which is three months. So, remember my friend, Maximum December tak hum ja sakte hai. So, if we add one month, it will become December. And if we add two more month, so the year will change and it will become February. So, 27th of February 2017. Okay. Now, is this the final answer? Again, no, because we have to add three grace days. But if you write 30th February as your answer, then your answer will be wrong. Because as you already know, February may maximum 28 या 29 days होते हैं, depend upon leap year और non leap year. As 2017 is non leap year, so maximum कितने days होंगे February में? 28 days. So from three grace days, if we add one day, so it will become 28 of February. But we have two more grace days, so it will become second of March 2017. Okay? Let's see another example. Now again. हमें date of bill दिया है, date of acceptance है, period दिया है and we have to calculate due date. Now again question is calculation of due date will start from which date? Now in this question it will start from date of acceptance. Now the question is why? Because after site is given. So remember my friend, अगर after site आपको question में दिया है then calculation of due date will start from date of acceptance. So we will write 12th of June 2018. And in this, we will add period, which is two months. So, it will become 12th of August 2018. And in this, we have to add three grace days. So, the answer will come to 15th of August 2018. But if you write 15th August as your final answer, then your answer will be wrong. Now, the question is why? So, remember my friend, if due date falls on Sunday or public holiday, then you have to take immediately preceding working day. And if due date falls on emergency holiday, मतलब अचानक से holiday declare हो गया, then we have to take immediately following working day. Again, I am repeating, अगर public holiday को हमारे due date आता है, then we have to take immediately preceding working day. मतलब एक दिन पहले का हमें consider करना होगा, और अगर emergency holiday आ जाता है, तो एक दिन बाद का हमें consider करना होगा, okay? So, 15th August is a public holiday. मतलब हम answer में क्या लिखेंगे? 14th August एक दिन पहले लेंगे. Hope you have understood till here. See you in next video. Thank you very much.